Hey guys, in today's video, I am gonna show you how to bleed your coolant on a Porsche 944, guys. Let's get into it right away. Okay, so right on top of your motor here is a bleeder screw. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna unscrew this, taking it out completely. That's step number one. Okay, see, just like that. And now we're just gonna fill this basically till it starts coming out that hole. Uh, I'm just using an all vehicle global antifreeze. Um, that's what I'm using. All right, let's fill her up. And yeah, guys, I changed the thermostat. What a pain. You should check that video out, guys. Uh, it will be in the description. Okay, I filled it right to the top. And as you can see, the level is slowly going down, see? Nothing's coming out of the hole yet. It's gonna take a while. It's gotta go through everything before it gets there. See, it's going down. Okay, it took a lot of fluid. It took about 10 minutes. And as you can see, see it's coming out now. So what we're gonna do now, guys, is I'm just gonna close it just really quick with my fingers like this. Uh, not really tight, just a tiny bit so I can unscrew it in a minute. Okay, let me just do that. Okay, I got it on just finger tight. With the rad cap off, I'm gonna go inside the car and start it. Okay, we're gonna put the heater on max uh, and start the car. Okay. Okay, now you're gonna top it up. And we're gonna remove the bleeder screw until fluid starts coming out. Okay, that looks good. Let's close it up. Okay, we're gonna turn it off. So now what we're gonna do is, and I mean, once your car's been running for like three, four minutes, you won't be able to do it anymore because the car starts getting hot. So you gotta do it within the first minute. We're gonna start the car and we're just gonna open this a bit. There's like a little hole in it. And that way, as the car's running, if there's any air bubbles, it will let them out. So I'll do that right now. I'll show you what that looks like. And pretty soon, heat is gonna start blowing out of the heater inside the car. Once heat's blowing inside the car, you're pretty much good at circulating and it's working. So let me just quickly show you that. Okay, I'm just gonna top it up again so it will push the air out right to the top, just like that. And we're gonna open this just a little bit, guys, see if there's any bubbles coming out. It's already starting to get hot. There you go, pure fluid coming out, no bubbles, which means that it's bled. Okay, I'm gonna tighten that. I warm up the car, put the rack cap back on, see if heat's blowing out inside. Okay guys, she's blowing nice and hot. Everything's working good. As you can see, the gauge is going up. Thanks for watching Problem Solver Garage. Till next time, give me a like at least and a subscription. A like would be good too. Peace out.